Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we are starting new save and we are going to use a bunch of mods to do so. The mods we are included are things like KW Rocket Repack, Keythane Pack, KSP Interstellar Pack, B9 Aerospace Pack and many many others. We are going to discover them along the way and when new mod is shown I'm going to quickly show what it does. For example right now we are seeing the tree loader which simply allows us to load the interstellar tech tree. Okay and here is another mod the final frontier, something I wanted to have for a very long time. It adds mission specific badges to your Kerbals, so that you know that Jebediah for example was the first Kerbal in space, or the first one to orbit around Elu and things like that. So let's go and start our career. Here is another mod, first let's move this panel over there. And this is another mod. It adds achievements, showing different kind of achievements which we can do. For example, kill 10 Kerbals. Alright, let us proceed. Our first mission, in brackets, isn't going to be very hard. We're going to launch this thing and here we see another mod pop up. It is custom biomes mod. What it does? It adds biomes to all celestial bodies, excluding the sun, allowing us to do even more science when traveling to other worlds. So let's move this panel over here and proceed with our mission. So what we're going to do? We're going to take a crew report, not the rename, the crew report. And we are going to put Jebediah on EVA. Take EVA report from over shores of Kerbin, because definitely hanging on a capsule equals flying. And then we're going to take the same EVA report and ground sample from the launch pad. Just like that store it in a capsule. Also we're getting some achievements for taking the soil sample and EVA report. So let's do the same thing in the KSC, Kerbal Space Center. And we're going to do it to simply skip a couple of the first nodes and to make sure that our first mission is more exciting than mere orbiting of Kerbin. So let's do that. And let's recover our vessel. Our second mission is going to be not too different. The only difference is that we are going to make it from the space plane hangar Take the capsule, orient it the right way, and do the usual EVA reports, crew reports, and so on. Good. Okay, let's take the sample. The surface sample and EVA report and let's store them in a capsule. But we are not going to recover just yet. Let's head to the water and the little guy will happily leg it all the way into the different biome. Some people might say that it is a form of cheating because we are not actually doing space exploration we are just gathering dirt from around the Kerbin. But I think it is valid tactic to skip a couple of the 
very early nodes and allowing us a bit of a head start without much of an issue. I could have done the same thing with one rocket launch, but that would be quite simple rocket launch, a normal orbital hop or suborbital hop. And here we go for another run, this time for a bit of a swim. And we're going to recover the Kerbal right from there. Alright, we have 79 signs and we can unlock some of nodes. Let's take the first node, the survivability node and the electricity node, which also gives us the science junior and the goo container. And this is the part for Keythane mod, which allows us to survey for Keythane. With all the parts unlocked, we were able to build this monster. And it is a monster because it is not aerodynamic and we are using Ferrum Aerospace. So it is not going to be very efficient. And we can launch it in hopefully some sort of polar orbit. Okay, it looks like we're going to make it. We're almost out of this atmosphere, so let's do some signs. And let's circularize around 85 kilometers above the Kerbin surface. Perfection. We're almost circular. And we got an achievement for stable orbit. Awesome. So let's do our science and start collecting the EVA reports from around the Kerbin. Let's take Jebedai out and generate report over Kerbin's water. Ice caps. Mountains. Highlands. Grasslands. Shores, Tundra, Deserts, and Badlands. With all the reports, we are going to raise our epopsis to approximately 300 kilometers. Hopefully this will get us into the high orbit around the Kerbin. And let's check it out. Yep, in space high above Kerbin. So we're going to do our science, our EVA report, and we're going to collect it all and store it in our capsule. Why we're going to store it in a capsule? Well, we are using the dead re-entry mode. That means that anything that is not shielded by the specific item will burn up in the re-entry and we don't want to lose our scientific data, don't we? So we are going to ditch our rocket and our scientific modules and only the capsule with the parachute and the batteries is going to re-enter and safely land. Alright. Re-entry is going to start somewhere now, as in re-entry effects. We are at approximately 400 degrees Celsius, our heat shield, that is, not the capsule. The capsule is safe. And we are landing nicely near the polar caps. Safe and sound, a new achievement. Let's put a flag. One small step indeed. Let's take our EVA report, our sample, and recover the vessel. All in all, we got 230 signs, and let's spend it. The first item is going to be, of course, the thermometer. And then we're going to use our leftover signs to get us better rockets, better stack decouplers, the structural elements or the space tape and the control surfaces and SAS modules. 
and pharynx, of course. Because without pharynx, rockets fly badly. And we're going to use it all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, remember to like, dislike and comment this video in the section below. My name is Darlok and I will see you next time. Goodbye!